Hello all, I've just realised I think I've been recording on the wrong setting but we'll see in this video whether um, whether that blurredness what I get in the last few films vanishes but anyway if you're in for a laugh if you just watch in a minute because uh, we're going to film Brian at work he's a bit eccentric and uh, he's putting up a fence he's a right character, I love him here he is. So what are you up to then Brian? You're on camera now. Camera. You're going on YouTube, worldwide viewings. I'm making a new fence. Oh yeah. It's um prototype number two. Oh right. <laughs> I see. First thing I do, go dead level. And what's the idea of this? Is this to keep the rabbits out? Keep the rabbits out. Or is it to keep you in? And keep me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see it's already looking good. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, you missed the worst part. <laughs> you in the coals <laughs> Had a little help from my friends. They've all gone away from It's going a bit quiet up here now. Does that look ah, right? so you put the rather than thread the wire through the yeah. mesh, you do it different. Oh, right. It's, just, it's neater. You can, uh... But you can't get it as taut, can you? Right. Okay, we'll leave you at that. Back again. This time we're walking up uh, Morris's path. We're going to see what's happening at the top end. Um, I can see Ray's just gone over there, and we've got Marge and Steve, who we've not met yet. Um, they've just taken on um, another quarter of a plot next to them. Just here you can see Morris's uh, tunnel, that was mine. I passed it on to him. And it's all happening at this end. Look at that. This is where it's all happening. Morris is, don't know what Morris, oh Morris is putting in the rhubarb what I gave him. Let's have a quick peep over here. Sorry, Morris. <laughs> so this is Steve. <laughs> Hello. And Steve's, uh, Steve and Marge, they've uh, been working hard on their plots. And just look at that. This was a jungle before they took it on. And they've only had it a few months. And they're finally, uh, it's, it's looking great. Brilliant, isn't it? They hope they're all hiding. You can see we all like our flowers up here. It's like home from home. Here we are then folks, we're, uh, we're walking along the side of Morris's and you know, I always forget this chap's plot, but uh, he's been working on it this year, really hard to be honest. Uh, it's always been a bit of a jungle all the way down before, but he's, uh, he's up here quite a lot. And uh, I don't know what he's trying to do with these tall posts, whether he's uh, trying to keep kangaroos or something, but <laughs> never mind. Um, It's all happening, isn't it? Just a day and so much happens. Let's see how uh, Brian's getting on. Oh, what I should mention is that I've just ordered some seeds today. Um, I've got some polyanthus primroses, um, two types of zinnia, four foot high ones, 
giant ones and daily is four foot high and there he is look at that he's on his hands and knees he's getting there he'll have it all done later he's got to work now hard because his wife's down here keeps him in tow <laughs> Right, I've just come up this afternoon really just for a bit of fresh air and uh, just a bit of socialising really. So we're having a stroll now back down to my plot. Um, earlier when I opened up after I'd had my dinner, the polytunnel, it was 50 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but I estimate it's probably 130. It was hot. So, my dad watered everything this morning. But, as you'll see, when it's at those sort of temperatures, it dries up so quickly. Just look. But also, lots of growth happens as well. The germination. And just look at the beetroot and the kohlrabi and the carrots look at that that tray is bone dry I'm gonna have, I'm gonna I know it's it's wrong you should never water in sunlight but the beauty of having a tunnel like this is um, you've got certain protection against the Sun so when you water and the rate the, the sunlight comes down it's not going to affect the um, plants so much and just look at the strawberry plants looking really good so as I say this year we've not got the early strawberries as we've had last year and the year before um, but it was still things will still happen um, we'll still have strawberries outside it'll just be later uh, the benefit of we've got lots more growing in here rather than just all strawberries on like we did last year right i'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching